Hello everyone, just coming up with a quick update here, a um, couple new features, uh, nothing too major. So the uh, the first one is that you can make start pieces now, just like you could make exit pieces before. Uh, those are the, the pieces that will spawn in in the place of a floor tile somewhere in your maze where you, uh, you know, you set up one or a number of variations that can be used and kind of set roughly where it'll spawn completely random in the center of the maze or toward the outside of the maze. Um, so they're identical to exit tiles in every way, shape, or form except for name. So it's just an easy way to differentiate them. The next new thing, which I'm pretty excited about because uh, it's really filling the spirit of what exits the original exit um, function was kind of all about anyway but on a more robust scale it almost makes starts and exits um, obsolete actually but I want to leave them in for now so when you decide that you want to make unique tiles you get uh, this little area that you can open up so you can say how many unique tiles you want you can name them um, yeah I'll close this out really quick you can name them and you can add variations to each tile. So uh, for example, for this is a tile, I've given it three possible variations. And then you can do placement, much like the start and exit. And then you can add you know, multiple unique tiles. What's cool about these is that these tiles are forced into the maze. Um, <laughs> if you put too many of them in here and they don't have a place to spawn, you will crash the maze generator. It will just loop forever. Um, that, does need to be protected at some point, but for now it offers the best randomization uh, by just forcing it to make sure that these are each placed. At some point, I'll probably add a um, like an overflow where if it's tried too many times, it'll count you know every tile individually and just go through them systematically until it finds a good one. And if it doesn't find a good one, it'll throw a little error. But for now, in this version. Um, don't put 500 of these in a in a maze that's you know 10 by 10. <laughs> so basically, it, it picks a, a spot in the maze based on the setting here, and once it picks its spot, it places one of these variations it, uh, down on the uh, down on the map, and you can add as many of these as you want. And the cool thing, like I said, is that they'll be forced into the maze. So every time I hit generate, because I have three. There are always going to be three of these, you know, somewhere throughout the maze. So this purple one uh, happens to be Tritilio. Um, there's another purple one because I've set all the variations to be the same. And that one's, this is a tile. So as you can see, they match up with the, uh, the names here. And obviously, in most scenarios, you wouldn't want them to be the same. But perhaps you want to have three unique tiles that are all the same tile, and then you could just put, you know, unique tile one, unique tile one, unique tile one is the only possible variation. And then three of that would be put somewhere throughout the maze. It's uh, just another layer of, of customization you can add on top of the, you know, usual floor details or the, the plazas and stuff like that. So you can add special obelisks to interact with or maybe spaces that give you a, a speed boost or, you know, whatever kind of unique um, tile that uh, that you like, kind of in the same spirit as the exit tiles always were. So as always, I hope you're having a good day, evening, caffeine-fueled dev session, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you with the next update.